I'm Cade Bowers. I'm Matilda Garcia. This is Lab 7 Interference, and this is Part A, Young's Double Slit. Um, Our goal in this experiment is to measure the spacing between the slits, and we can do that using Young's equations for the double slit, using the French spacing, and measuring the distance between the slit and the slit. <laughs> Using Young's double slit equations, we found a slit spacing of 243.4 micrometers. And using the root sum square method, we found a delta D, or an error, of 3.2 micrometers. This is a little below the specs we were given of 250 micrometers for the slits. This is part B, and we have the Lloyd's mirror experiments. We have a laser that's going um, through a spatial whatever filter, and it makes a point source that reflects off uh, creating a virtual source as well. Then the virtual and the real sources interfere with each other, creating uh, fringes that are captured by our camera. And uh, we can actually measure the fringe spacing with our computer and uh, MATLAB code. This is one of the pictures we got from the fringe spacings. From the double slit experiment, we know that the distance in between our virtual and our point source, our lambda of our laser, the distance in between the point source and the camera over our fringe spacing gives us a relationship that we can graph. So if we derive that, we get a relationship that relates the distance in between the virtual and the point source. And at our delta D, if we move the platform up, uh, our D changes by twice that amount. And then, so while we were doing the experiment, we found a wavelength of 643.2 nanometers, which is close to the actual laser value of 632.8 nanometers. And the biggest error in our experiment was the distance from the point source to the camera, because that was measured in millimeters instead of micrometers. This is part C. We're doing two-point interference. For this setup, we have a ripple tank to generate two point sources. And if you look at this, the two point sources create interference, and those have power lines of where the actual interference is. We observe that as the frequency increased, our amount of fringes, fringe spacing increased as well. And on top, we have our point sources in, in phase. And down here, we have the other one's out of phase, and we can observe that they're out of phase because uh, this circle is bigger by a wavelength and a half. 